Um, hi, my name is Hammer Chen. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate you how to fake in human motion with ragdoll, max script. And uh, I'm not a, a native English, English speaker, and uh, this is my first uh, video tutorial, so um, bear with me. S um, in the beginning, I'm going to um, to tell you um, some concept uh, of uh, how to use a uh, ragdoll and uh, the uh, reactor physics simulation. First, we c we create a, a, a plan and a, a simple box like so, and. Uh, now we add a, a um, reggae body collection to this box. Also the, the plan. And now I set uh, the the mass of this box about five unit and uh, set the plan annealing and uh, concave mesh now if I if I preview the result you will see the box just uh, falling down to the to the plan however if I set keyframe to this box and uh, change the um, animation timing start frame in between these two keyframes um, now I set the 0 to 3 and uh, this will give this box uh, a momentum before um, before the simulation start so you will see the difference is uh, I think I have to exagger exaggerate it a little bit yeah um, Okay, now you see the difference. Um, I, s I set the keyframe for the box um, from 0 to uh, 4 frames and uh, start the uh, timing of the reactor simulation from in between these two frames. Uh, for example, I used 3. So um, throughout this tutorial, I am going to um, th use this concept uh, again and again to faking human motion uh, by using reactor uh, by using rectal max script. Um, this is a very basic uh, um, theme setup. Um, so let's play it and. Uh, you can see this uh, character, th th he just, uh, f um, he just uh, f fall and uh, hit the ground. So how, how do I um, do this effect? Um, um, very simple. So get it this. Um, I'm create a plan. A very single 
simple plan like so and uh, uh, go to utility panel and bypass and I like to select the body type to mail and uh, no finger and uh, uh, toe links, toe links um, to one um, just click and drag and change the height to about um, 160 units so after you create a character se select any part of your uh, character and uh, go to max script round script and uh, select the rct ragdoll script uh, x expanded uh, uh, max script and pop out a uh, uh, ragdoll script uh, interface and uh, now you hit this button constrain humanoid will automatically create a uh, uh, constraint between uh, your character bonds now um, also uh, create two const uh, two helper uh, object one is a uh, um, body collection helper another is a uh, constraint helper constraint solver helper and then now you select uh, this uh, Reggae body collection and uh, uh, include this plan like so and then set the plan to a yield and uh, concave mesh um, now we can see we can see let's take a look at uh, uh, preview you can see the this uh, the character just uh, fall down. Um, um, there's uh, several things you can do. You can change the the mass of the character. Um, so he, you will um, change the his the direction of his falling. Um, take e example. If I select. Uh, right hand of this character and uh, change his ma this mass to about uh, 500 units and uh, see the preview uh, you will see um, a very um, different than um, before also you can if you like you can if you like, you can change the gravity to a very low value, like uh, minus uh, 40, minus 50. So you will have a, a very different result. OK. Um, um, up to now, I didn't set any keyframe to the um, this biped uh, bomb and uh, if I set a keyframe to uh, the biped uh, also will have a um, different result so uh, so if I set a uh, uh, select this uh, the spine, the, the spine bone, and uh, set a keyframe to the spine bone from zero to eleven, and uh, start uh, change the start frame uh, from ten. So let's take a look what's the difference. Yeah. Now the character uh, change the direction of uh, its uh, um, folding, the folding direction. So you can um, several things you can do. You can change the mass of the character, change the uh, change the gravity, and uh, change the what else. You can change the gravity, and uh, and um, 
and uh, there's uh, one little uh, one little tricks mm, also can change the result you can change the performance to right now it's 10 sub steps if you change it to one this is the when setting to one and then if you ch change to 40 There's also uh, so th this also can make a uh, make uh, same setting but uh, different result. Mm, and in this scene, um, I'm adding uh, more effect to the bypass. As you can see, um, the hands of the bypass are uh, fixed at uh, this uh, this point, and uh, and it looks like uh, the leg of uh, the the leg of this character is kicking around. So how to do this effect? Um, So how to fix uh, the hand of this bipad uh, to this uh, this uh, location? I use a point-to-point -point, uh, uh, constraint. Um, now I um, I delete it. So how to use a point-to-point -point, uh, cons constraint? Um, uh, uh, click on this uh, create point-to-point -point constraint button, and uh, on anywhere in the screen and uh, you don't have to move it um, now go to the modifier panel and uh, select the child select the left hand of by the bipad automatically the constraint move to the bipad hand same procedure to the right hand uh, click this button and uh, go to modifier and uh, select the trial to right hand now the character hands are uh, binding to the point and uh, you have to um, select the uh, uh, const rigid body constraint collection and add these two new uh, constraints to the collection like so so now you um to see the result you can see the preview constraint to the to the point and then if i if i delete delete that and uh, you can see the difference the bipad fall down so um um to add more more um effect on the the bipad i create a wing a wing object and uh if i turn on wing you can see now um now the bi this bipad looks like uh, it's uh, flying. Um, but uh, if you change some, um, if you play around uh, the mass of uh, bipad food or change the turn on the perturb speed or turn on ripple, left, right, up, down. Um, finally, you will. Um, you will uh, have a uh, result looks like uh, the character is kicking his leg 